me just try and look for which what I'm looking for it's here somewhere there's an end piece if you want to make mazes and whatnot and have a dead end so you can um, add that four way three way I always get stuck on these pieces don't ask me why I'm not too sure <laughs> um, I have found it. It's the Norhall SM1 way end exit SM01. Bit of a long winded name, but that's the one you want. So you just go drag and drop. What it is, as I said, for halls and rooms, you need exit to exit connectors. Otherwise, if you connect that, that normal hallway to an exit, it will be all um, glitchy and you can see the void. When I say void, I mean the grey pieces that are that are around. So let's get camera in view and just connect these pieces. And now I can add the hallway eventually. I'm just going to go and duplicate the hallway and maybe throw in a corner. So if you want corners, do do do. Do, do. You need to use the two way Norhall SM two way zero one or ice or whatever design you're doing. You can use three way or four way depending how big you want to make your dungeon and how many rooms. But just for now, we are going to use um, the two way. If you want to move a piece up and down without having to go and edit it, all you need to do is press down on Z. Or Z if any Americans are listening and then just push up or down move forward or backwards sorry on the mouse and I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate these three pieces and rotate them There you have it, you have a hallway. And now what we're going to do is if I can find that piece again, which I, uh, I honestly don't mean to take forever to look for, I just for some reason always keep losing it. That's the one I want. Just to add another exit. And now we want to go to the BG rooms. And now we're going to find, uh, that's the sun. You want to, uh, to make it all uniformed really, you need to either use sides or fronts. I mean, you can, let's say use a side wall exit here, front wall exit there, but you just have to keep it on top of things and remember which parts are which, but if you don't want to worry about that and you don't want to fiddle through saying oh did I use a front wall or side wall you can go in and create a dungeon only using exits for side walls or front walls and it just makes life a lot easier to remember things if you're a bit busy so I'll just um, I'm going to use a uh, front wall here I can find the front wall exit big Will that work? No, I want front wall exit big to small. This is one you want naught room big wall front X sim zero one. So it's a well this says it's a Nordic room a big wall front exit to a small corridor. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger. And as you can see here also I haven't placed the exit properly. Fantastic. Go ahead. 
check and make sure this is all lined up. And we've got the entrance to a big hall. So what I'm going to do is just add a big hall front. I don't need that, I just need the normal fronts. I'm just going to make a very small big hall. <laughs> so when you drag and drop the big hall pieces, um, it will sort of be half up, half down, so you need to manually put them in place. So what I'm going to do, I'll just add a corner in. What do I need? I need corner in L1. And the corners are different as well because it have left and right pieces. You just have to make uh, be aware which ones you're using and uh, make sure you're using the right one there. It's being a pain. As, as you can see, another meshing problem there, so I'm just going to highlight them both and drag them across. And which one did I use? Fantastic, so I'm just going to put these in place. And then we have one side of the wall so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and add the rest obviously um, you should by now be able to uh, know what to do um, it's not any you know it's not rocket science if I can do it pretty much anyone can I'm just going to try and quickly do this as fast as I pop uh, fast as possible yeah so what I'm going to do I'm going to be using this um, dungeon I've just created for future for the next few tutorials and I'm going to upload this dungeon um, to the Nexus forum I'm not going to add it to the world so you won't be able to transport to it um, in game not for the moment, not not for this uh, version of the dungeon, anyway. So this is sort of a modders resource tutorial thing at the moment. And plus, if I added it to the game, it would just be boring. It would be. Obviously, because I haven't had it added effects, effects or um, lights, or even clutter, 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 and your ambiance is probably the most important thing for your dungeons. Otherwise, they will just look stale and boring. Um, as you can see, the floors here are very flat, and the rooms are very empty. What clutter will do will fill the rooms up, make it look like it's been um, used used lived in make you know, make it look old, older you know, uh, what have you um, what um, obviously the FX does you know add fog mist um, make it look like um, oh, ambiance really that's what it will add uh, it just adds levels um, makes the room more appealing especially to gamers because you don't want to didn't duplicate that you don't want to create a dungeon or a house still didn't duplicate yeah, as I was saying you don't want to create a dungeon house or anything really without um, adding layers basically you want it to look as good as you can so you can get more you know if you want people to download it it has to be attractive and, and playable 
and that's what clutter and um, FX does essentially clutter will take up time it's probably the most uh, time con consuming thing out of all the processes in creating so you, know, you just have to be a bit patient really but I assume if you want to make a dungeon anyway you've either got the time or the dedica dedication to create it so fair play to you so I know I'm waffling on but just while I create this Ta -da. Ooh. we have a meshing error okay we have an error it seems Oh, I've done something wrong here. Not always the best thing to see in a tutorial, is it? <laughs> Aha! I found the culprit. Right, there we go. Yes, that's what I mean with the snap to grid. It just makes it easier to edit and move things. You will come up with overlapping edges now and again. Um, it happens to all modders and makers. You know, you just have to go through and check your work so once you've made a room or creating a room just check the edges check the floor you can see sometimes when there's a collision in meshes when they're overlapping because of the texture sort of um, uh, flash it well not flashes sort of um, doesn't look right and you, you know what I mean when I say it you've seen it once or twice in this video and sometimes you can see that they're not all lining up properly as you can see our big room is now fully aligned so I'm just going to add the middle pieces I'll put in that middle piece just for now right there it's all level it's a bit a bit more of a pain using uh, doing a big room because um, it doesn't place it where you want it to and there we have it Ah, something's not right. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a texture mesh. There we have it. We have our big room. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it. It's the end of this particular tutorial. And we've got a small room over there with joining corridors. What I'm going to do is. Um, after this video I've made I'm just going to add a corridor here which will lead out so the player can walk down into here from the outside world so they've, they've got an entrance point and then walk down and blah 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 so I'm just going to end this tutorial for now and just play about quickly and upload this uh, cell this dungeon to the Skyrim Nexus forums and I'll have that on a link in the video description so you can download it um, and have it ready for the next tutorial. So thank you for watching. I've been Dagonus from the Skyrim Nexus forums and hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.